Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back for another Strategies, Tactics and Boost video. I hope our last video helped you to make it from the qualifying round through to the opening round. Because uh, today this is what we're going to talk about. The opening and final round uh, tracks of the Australian GP. So, uh, we had some rain in uh, qualifying round, no high temperatures, but let's go and see what uh, is, um, what we're going to, uh, where we're going to race uh, this weekend, weather conditions, temperatures, everything. So, let's get started. As we can see, no high temperatures in Austria, 32 degrees maximum, no issues with our tires. And don't forget that in Austria, uh, Red Bull Ring, we are chasing the fastest lap, both in opening round and final round. So we have to, uh, <coughs> if we find if we find uh, the chance, if we get the chance, we have to try for the fastest lap, at least in the final round, if not in uh, the opening round. Now, we see two uh, white races, 100% in Melbourne, first race in Melbourne and in uh, Zandvoort, Netherlands, and maybe some rain, changes of uh, weather, conditions we'll see in Canada so it's a more we know what to expect uh, more or less here in seven out of eight tracks we know where where it's going to be dry and where it's going to be uh, wet only in Montreal we will have to wait until uh, we press the <laughs> race button Okay, so let's get started. Of course, we are going to start with Australia. Let's go and see it a little bit fast. We have seen Australia, we have raced in Australia, but let's see uh, our strategies. Let's remind them. Uh, of course, if you are at the back or in the middle of the grid, big uh, lap times, one pit strategy is the best for you. So 5-3 hard soft and 4-4 four, four, medium hard for your drivers. If you can avoid uh, pit stacking, 4-4 four, four, medium hard is the fastest of the two, of these two uh, strategies. And of course, 4-4 four, four, medium, but it's a little bit passive. Uh, we won't be able to push a lot, although we will be fast uh, because of, uh, because we are going to be using medium instead of hard. Now, the fastest strategy, two pit stops, all softs, 3-3-2 uh, and 2-3-3 three, three if you want to avoid stacking. If your drivers have a, a big gap, then you can go 3-3-2 three, three, with both your drivers. Okay, if it rains, half cars are pitting for four, the other half are pitting in lap five, five three. Uh, if we are at the back or in the middle of the grid, we pit here, 4-4. Four, four. If we are at the top of the grid, we pit in lap uh, 5. Okay, let's go to Canada. Where again, especially if we are at the back or in the middle of the grid, we can uh, go one pit stop and one pit strategy is very fast. 5-3 hard soft, it can be done medium soft, so uh, depending on your tire management, it's up to you to decide uh, which compound you're going to use. And of course, one of the fastest strategies is 4-4 soft medium. If you ask me when uh, the safety car 
is going to be back. One of my two drivers will certainly go 4-4, soft medium, because in safety, with safety cars activated, the less pit stops we do, the less chance, uh, chances we have to be uh, to have our race uh, destroyed by a safety car. Uh, so, great strategy for for soft medium. Don't uh, don't even second guess it. Uh, use it. But if you are not afraid of it, go only with softs. Two, three, three, and three, three, two. Softs in Canada, uh, it's like flying. It's the fastest way to go, even with one extra pit stop. Of course, I always say, when you see a two pit strategy, this means that uh, you have pit times less than let's say, three and a half seconds. 3.7 if you are above four seconds well first test these strategies and then go for it because uh yeah two pit stops with high pit times is not the best way to go then i would really like to see you racing 4-4 soft medium and 5-3 medium soft it's uh, a much better uh, solution Okay, now if it rains, again, bots will go five laps. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, give me one second here. Yeah, bots will go five laps. So, if you are at the back, wherever we, we are, 4-4 for four, four, our driver is a very good, uh, is the best strategy to go. Now, if we are at the back or in the middle of the grid and our drivers start uh, one close to uh, another, then, and we are afraid of stacking, then, of course, one driver will go 4-4, four, four, and the other one can go 3-5. Again, it's an undercut. Um, you will pit in lap 3. Probably everybody will uh, overtake you. It's okay. Just push and get at the back of the pack and wait. Wait until they uh, pit in lap four, some of them, and in lap five, the rest of them. And then we push. Um, if you are at the back or in the middle of the grid, you can easily go like this so you can avoid uh, pit stacking. And of course, if we have a driver at the top of the grid, then he will go 5-3 and our second driver will go 4-4. Four, four. Now, let's go to Hungary. Be careful of turn one, yeah, corner one. We know that if we get stuck there uh, in traffic, uh, disaster GIF is coming. Uh, now, Hungary is a one pit strategy, 5-3, medium soft, Maybe you can alternatively go 3-5 soft medium, but this is going to be my last choice. And of course, the fastest strategy of all is 4-4 soft medium. And as I told you in our previous video, against the real player, I would really go for uh, both my drivers 4-4 soft medium instead of one soft medium and the other one uh, five three medium soft but okay as i told you we have to uh test it sometimes not only once and then we can decide if this is a goal come on okay ha monza <laughs> okay monza easy one uh one pit stop is the fastest strategy here hard hard medium hard depending on your tire management but especially if you are at the back or in the middle of the grid both your drivers 4-4 four, four, find a way to create the gap but it's the best strategy now if we are at the top of the grid all the variations of 
uh, of two pitch strategies, two, three, 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 two, three, two, three. Uh, the only thing I have to uh, tell you is that last stint, if it's a, a stint with three laps, then it has to be with mediums because no driver can finish even with 99%. Uh, even with 99 entire management, no one can uh, finish the race uh, with softs. We will run out of tires before the parabolica and it will cost us yeah, so much. Uh, and we might lose a couple of positions, so we don't want that. If last thing is three laps, then 100% we go with mediums. Now, if the first uh, stints are uh, three laps and our last one is two laps, okay, last la last stint is uh, with softs. What we do with the, uh, uh, the first and the second stint that are three laps? Okay, if you have bad tire management, both of them should go with mediums, 332, medium, medium, soft. Okay, now, if we have good, excellent tire management and we are against an okay bot, if we have a race that we are, uh, we have con the control of it, okay, we can go all softs. Uh, okay, this is three, uh, two, three, three. Again, only if we are against a very easy bot, we will go like this. Now, instead of soft, soft, soft here, against a real player, a maxed out bot, a difficult opponent, this should be soft, medium, soft. Because, okay, first thing, uh, we are going to push at the beginning, at lap one probably, and then most of the next two laps, we are uh, recharging our power unit. And we will probably be with 80, 90%, even 100% power unit for our second stint. If we use softs in our second stint, we will be with 100% power unit and we cannot use it because we will run out of tires even further before, uh, even much earlier than the parabolica. Than parabolica. So we uh, we need to go with mediums, so we can use this power unit that is fully charged, and we can finish our uh, stint. Uh, without uh, having any issues with our tires. And of course, last thing, two laps with softs is okay. Okay, next one is a rainy Zandvoort. Not much to say here. 3, 4 and 4, 3 are the two choices for our drivers. Maybe we could discuss 5, 2, but I believe because some bots will go five laps. But I believe that 5-2 uh, is a little bit slower than these two strategies. So yeah, 4-3 and 3-4 may be the best solution. Not maybe, is the best solution for our drivers. Don't be afraid that, especially the driver that will go 3-4, he will probably fall behind in uh, the grid, but don't worry about it when the boats will pit in lap four and some in lap five we will overtake them easily while they are pitting okay yeah as i told you five two is an alternative but it's a little bit slower okay so uh next one austin <laughs> Where is my friend Nikos to say the rest of it? Uh, Austin is a one-pit track 
we all know that 4 3 3 4 and all you have to do is to see to decide uh according to your driver's tire management which tires which compound you're going to use the fastest of course strategy is 4 3 medium soft 3 4 soft medium but if you have some good tire management or if you boost your tire management you can go for it else you will have to use some harder compounds mediums and hards of course but if you ask me and i have said it more than enough times i would really uh, if you don't have good tire management boost boost it with frost with november with char uh and go for four medium three soft three softs for medium because tires here make a difference uh, softer tires are much faster than uh, hard, uh, the hard ones so yeah soft is much faster than mediums mediums are, are much faster than hards in this track so yeah go for it even if you have to sacrifice boosting your cornering or your overtaking or anything else uh, I would go with frost or november or char and medium soft soft medium okay austria easy track 10 laps two pit stops uh we go for the fastest lap here with merlion and it's soft soft medium lasting if your last in these four laps is of course you are going to do it with mediums and uh 433 medium soft soft if we have good tire management it's soft 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 first in four laps with softs we are okay if we run out a few meters before the pit lane uh if we run out of tires it's okay but only if it's first stint not our last stint and if i'm not mistaken yes this is the last one after austria we are racing again uh it's a dry race if i remember uh if i remember well it's a dry race in australia but we're going to see it now we're going to revise our uh our tracks and we'll see it so i believe okay we have some difficulties especially rainy tracks against difficult bots can be a nightmare but at least we know what to expect in seven out of eight tracks only canada is let's say a mystery but yet again it's canada i believe we can uh, we can manage it uh okay let's go and see once again our tracks melbourne and zanvoort two wet races canada 28 percent chance of rain and our dry tracks are hungary monza austin and austria So that's it for today. I hope we helped you. I hope these strategies will help you get maximum points uh, out of your setup. And don't forget, read the description of the video. You will in the description you will find my Discord server link. Click on that link and join my Discord server to find these strategies and strategies for all the other tracks. Uh, you will find me <laughs> and the rest of the gang uh, where we can discuss uh, whatever you want. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash the like button. Best of luck in your races this uh, weekend. See you next time. Goodbye, everybody.